Welcome to the Beard Barbarian! Welcome everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we're not opening Funko Pops. What does that mean? Have I moved away from Funko Pops? Have I given up? Not yet, uh, hopefully never. Um, but what I decided to do was go on Amazon and look for some other types of things. I did a swap with somebody. Um, well, actually I purchased a pop. I didn't really swap anything, but I purchased a pop from another individual and it was something other than a Funko Pop and I just thought it was really cool. So I was looking for other things in the same vein and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about here shortly. So I bought two of those type of items. Okay, so let's open it up and just, you know, enough beating around the bush. Let's just talk, let's just go ahead and open it. Stop talking about it. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look and see what we got in here. Okay, there it is. What did we get? So of course the box is banged up because Amazon stinks! Urgh. I'm planning on taking this out of the box anyway, so it's not a problem. This is a Marvel Q-Fig, okay? Um, hopefully you think this is cool. I did open, open one um, not that long ago and it was a uh, aliens. It was one of the face huggers coming out of an egg. Um, and this one is a very cool one. And I'll go ahead and pull it out of the box. And again, the box is rough. Of course it is. Now, why would I expect anything else from the people at Amazon? But again, I am planning on displaying it outside the box. So it's not like I'm that concerned about it. The thing that's cool about it is, you can sort of see, it's, it's a Deadpool figure. And I'll go ahead and put it on the spinner so you can really get a good view of it as well, okay? And, and the scene is him coming out of a comic book. You can see this is the comic book right here. You can probably see a picture. I'm gonna put some pictures up in the corner so you can see it. And again, I'll put it on the 360 spinner. It'll be very cool. It's a little smaller than I thought. I thought it would be a little bit bigger than that, but it is very, very cool. It's about the same size as a pop as far as the height. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a really neat thing. I'm trying to set up a little Deadpool display area. I've got a, a variety of things like the Deadpool's head and some other pops and things. And I'm gonna set up a whole case of Deadpool stuff because he is my favorite character. He's many people's favorite character. So I'm not being that original or anything, but still he is my favorite character. You can, again, you can sort of see right there where he's actually stepping out of the pages, which I thought was a really cool effect. Okay, and again, this is Q-Fig. Um, I do have one other Q-Fig that's a Harry Potter. Um, it's with Harry Potter and Hagrid on the motorcycle, which I thought was a cool one. That's kind of a bigger one. Okay. Hopefully this was a cool, you thought this was a cool one. This was really neat, I thought. Let's take a look and see what else I got. <clears throat> again, once again, Amazon has let me down as far as their handling, the shipping and handling. They got the shipping part down. They're quick at shipping. They're terrible at handling. All right, let's see what we got here. I assume that's what the other thing is here. Yep. All right, so this is another Q-Fig, and this is another Aliens one. And what it is, is you can sort of see the picture on the front, and I'll take it out of the box. It's of uh, Ripley, um, played by Sigourney Weaver. Her character, there's a scene at the very end of Aliens, the second one, where she's in a... Um, a contraption that they use to pick up vehicles and stuff like that, almost like a, a forklift, but a futuristic forklift where you're walking around. And she fights the alien in this particular suit. It's very, very cool. Um, I just thought it was a really neat one. So let's go ahead and see if we can pull this one out here somewhere. Well, geez. All right. Doesn't want to open. Come on, I said open. Here we go. All right, has a, it says a bug hunt. You can sort of see that picture right there which is cool, and there's the uh, picture that we're talking about. You'll see another one here as well. And then we'll go ahead and pull it out. So this is cool. I like the box that they used for this one as quote, compared to the last one that was just this banged up box. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set that over here. Let's take a look and see what we got. Ooh, this is a cool one. This is actually bigger than the other one. I thought this one would be smaller. That's interesting. I'm never good at figuring out sizes. Like, I think I'm gonna get something and like, I'm gonna get a coin and I'm thinking it's gonna be this massive coin, it ends up being this little dime-sized coin. I, I really need to have like things next to it. You can, again, you can sort of see, um, this is the figure. It's very detailed, I really do like it. It's on a very cool base, you can sort of see that there as well. Again, I'll, I'll put some pictures in the corner so that you can really get an idea. And again, at the end of the video, stay tuned and you can watch it on the 360 spinner. 
um, and see really all the cool details of this particular one. So if you like aliens and like these type of figures, it's a little bit different than um, Funko Pops in the fact that, you know, you're, they're, they're figures with a lot of other things going on, but they're very detailed and I do like them. And they're very reasonably priced for the most part. They, they range between 25 and 50 to $60, or something like that. So they can vary depending on those type of things, but they're similar to that. And again, the, the um, face hugger is about the same size as this. So they're sort of all kind of in, go in the same area. So I'm gonna try to set up a, maybe a small aliens area, etc. Um, try to set up little scenes in sections of my room for uh, a fun scene. Okay, so hopefully you think those are cool. Again, let me know what you think about the Q figs. Do you really like them? Um, have you seen any of them before, etc.? I usually buy them from Amazon, um, but you know you can also get them from Sideshow Collectibles. That was the first one that I got. Um, the uh, Harry Potter one. That's where I purchased that one. Was from Sideshow Collectibles. Um, and that was really cool as well. Sort of got me started in some of these. I don't know if that I'm gonna collect a million of these different types of figures, but I just thought there was something different. Um, they were very unique, and I like the style of the, the way they're designing the characters. I just thought those were cool. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. It's a short video, um, but hopefully a lots of fun. Um, go check them out. Like I said, go check out Sideshow Collectibles. Go on Amazon if you want a damaged box. Be very careful because of the way they treat their things. Um, but go check them out and let us know what you think. Uh, thank you very much for coming, and goodbye from the Bearded Barbarian.